Hi guys. Okay, so it's been a month since the last uh, Star Wars R2-D2 build. We finished up last month on issue 13. And I'm excited to say I've had my next four magazines. Unlike the DeLorean, if you're following me for the DeLorean. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, we'll get on with that. The only thing is... Not that it matters too much. I'm not sure if anyone else has uh, had this. Uh, I expect so. I've had a letter with the with this this month saying, and I'll, I'll read it out. It says, "Dear subscriber, we would like to thank you for your subscription to the Build Your Own Star Wars R2D2. Unfortunately, there has been a production delay from our supplier for your free R2D2 cap, which is planned to go out with your fifth delivery." Uh, we apologise for this delay. We'd like to reassure you that once received, this will be sent to you in the forthcoming dispatch. Should you have any concerns or queries, contact them and a contact number. Um, apologies for the inconvenience this may cause, and thank you for your continued to support, uh, your continued support of the publication, uh, customer service. So, no free cap this time, uh, but I'm sure it'll be here soon enough. So. Okay, well, let's crack on um, and take a look inside issue 14. So, here we go. Again, I've gone straight to the back because those of you who are subscribing will want to read the magazines themselves and I don't want to spoil it. So, I'm just more interested in the build at the moment. So, with this uh, issue 14, you get more of the ring frame and then you get some leg detail. Um, and there's four plastic parts for that, and that is it. So, when we go over, we also need DF-18, which came in issue 13, the one before. We're going to need that, as well as these pieces here. And the only other thing we're going to need, this is a little bit confusing, it took me a little while to work this out actually, we also need two of the fixing screws from issue 5. Now in issue 5 they sent 10, uh, sorry, I think it was 15 fixing screws in total. Five of them were small, slightly smaller and 10 of them were the larger ones. So I've studied this picture and it looks like it's the larger, slightly larger uh, fixing screws. It doesn't actually say either way so it's a bit annoying but I've got my magic box of screws here um, that I use just for R2-D2. So I'm just going to get two of the larger ones out um, and just see just see how it goes. Um, yeah, because I mean I think that it goes in this hole here which got, you know, it's quite a large hole for it to go in. Um, so I think it's got to be them. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of this. That's all we need. Oh no, and sorry, we do need some more. We need some of the shorter screws. For the frame there. So, let me just see. Do, 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 do. Uh, I see, okay, yeah, plus two of the shorter screws, so we've only got, we've got two there. So, we've got all our screws ready. So, let's crack on. So, the first thing we've got to do is, like the other part we did, let me just get this open. Got your connectors and parts of the dome frame there. So the first thing we've got to do is connect DF-19 to DF-18. Now in the book, it's illustrated like that, with the flat part at the top, with the larger part to the left, if you're looking at it. Okay. So... What we're going to do is we're going to flip this over 
because then we know we got it the right way. Put this connector down, screw side down, up, sorry. Slot that in there like a jigsaw puzzle like the previous. And then I'm just going to fix them with two of these shorter screws. Because if you remember back when we first did some of this, it was telling us to just use screws and there were the, the certain screws that were too long. So make sure you use the shorter screws for that. So when it's done, it should look like that. Or it will look like that because, well, yeah, there you go. So that's that part done. And that is it for this issue, for, that, for the part of the dome frame. So the next thing we've got to do is assemble the two support fittings the, that attach to the outside of the ankle joint, or to R2D2's ankle joint. So what we need to do is, let me just get the right piece to start with. We're going to use this piece here. And twenty oh, it's all labelled anyway. Thirty. Right. So we want LPR twenty eight. I'm not sure if you can see that in there because my camera is not that great. No. Okay. Anyway, we want. LPR 28 and it's got it marked inside in you know just in there in the blue bit and then we want also LPR 29 and then that just fits inside it just goes inside there like that so that part Okay, and then we affix it with one of these black screws. Now I'm hoping this is going to be the right screw. So let me just put this down here for a minute. And then goes in the top. Uh, so yeah, it feels like a nice fit. So I'm going to go with that. So that's one done. And then the same with the other side. Just pop that on there like so. The finished edge facing out with the silver part there. And again, we're going to fit that with another black screw. The larger black screw of the two. You should have, well actually you should have three. I've got three left. I've got, uh, what have I got? I've only got three smaller black screws in my box. Yeah, I've only got three uh, smaller ones in there. I've only got one large one. And then I did have four of the uh, the larger, the larger uh, short ones. So I've used two of those. So yeah, there we go. We've got these these parts here and part of the frame done. Now that is it for this issue, 14. And I'll be back soon with issue 15 for you. Hopefully we'll be making a bit more of this, I'd assume. But we shall see. So, take care for now, and I'll see you on the next video.